we are getting a very, very special demonstration of Marco Tempest's augmented reality system, which is one of the hits of Magic Live. Alright, this is just a quick demonstration of having the system recognize the cards which lay here. And this is of course all like real time. The Five of Clubs is really dancey, still in party mode. <laughs> Alright. Um, another thing, another sequence which I like a lot is actually the Chokers, which is a, a cell animated uh, sequence hand drawn. So we have the system recognize the two Chokers, and then once it sees only one Choker, they wake up. Hey, wake up! Whoa. Are you ready? Ready. Let me see what you got. Our man. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. All right, Ned. Yeah, now, you want to show us uh, a yeah. little bit what goes into this? Yeah, I can show you quickly. The, there's a, there's a little screen which is kind of the diagnostic screen. Let's turn on really quickly the debug information. And here you really see that the computer is actually seeing the cards in real time. We see these little yellow, these yellow uh, corner trackers. So I'm tracking the position and I'm also tracking why I, when I intersect with a chord. So basically I can use this information. The computer actually don't, doesn't see color, the computer only sees it like this. And, uh, and will tell by the, so shape the of the, by the shape of the blobs and the contrast and then the, the actual um, aspect ratio of these blobs, the computer can detect if this is a card or if it's just a hand in, on top of a card. And so that, that's how it can tell when you intersect, is when that blob exactly. changes, right? Exactly, uh, and then I can add, I can add uh, interactive elements. This is another scene I really love, which here we are, we're actually making a photo of cards which are sitting on the mat. Okay. And then we animate them. So we have like three cards here. We snap a photo and then we can have a move. And I'm purposely left the debug on behind it. So we see where the real cards are and we see where the floating cards are. And then we go back and kind of overlay these. That is crazy. And it's all accomplished with free software. This is programmed in C++ with open source tools. The tool is called Open Frameworks. I use OpenCV, which is the Intel open source uh, computer vision library and a $40 yeah. PlayStation 3i yeah, 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 toy. Get so this is like... This. this is like... And and the funny thing is, is when people saw you on stage, like I, I, people like were talking to me because I was mentioning I was going to get a, a tutorial and it's like, oh my God, you got to look at his camera. Like it's got to be something really awesome. <laughs> and it's it, it, it looks... You know, uh, very uh, home brewed, and I love it. It is, it is great. And it's just. Uh, and the reason, kind of, why we I use a simple camera, not like a super fancy camera, is so. Um, you know, if you guys want to code something and play with computer vision and maybe come up with your own routines, also to kind of show that it's it's very inexpensive. I mean, it's time consuming, and yeah. you're probably gonna need some help. I had some help from like super coding masters who uh, have worked with me behind the scenes to make this happen but um it's definitely not all that hard financially to get into that kind of stuff there we go so well, once and for all not only did you get a standing ovation of magic live for this but uh ralph right here uh, this is it's not after effects it is uh it is all done on the fly thank you very much marco well, thank Tempest. you very much thanks for tuning in